Chase, uh, why don't you share a little bit of, of your story? Um, yes, what happened and how did it affect you personally? Yes, ma'am. Well, thank you, Ms. Faith, for sharing your story. That's very empowering. Um, for me, I'm a 23-year-old master's student right now at the University of Texas, and I just wanted a quick summer job. So I applied to In-N-Out, and I was told that my employment at In-N-Out is contingent upon me cutting my hair. And so mm -hmm. that goes to just reveal that they didn't see my qualifications and what I can bring to the table, but solely my person, solely how I look. And then the individual that was interviewing me additionally said that me tying my hair up won't be an option because in and out tries to maintain a certain look and I don't fit the look that they're trying to go for. So I essentially believe that they utilize me cutting my hair as a proxy for blackness. And if I reflect on my experiences at in and out I've never seen another black male working behind the register or behind the counter. And it's not to say that that doesn't happen, but I believe that this is kind of an example as to the systemic practices that they utilize to not enable certain bodies of people to work at places like In-N-Out.